Good afternoon guys and welcome to this uh, short uh, tutorial about the QSIM Planner uh, Wind Allosoft failure or ADOD. It's a bug I think in the program that actually causes the download function for the weather to stop existing. So uh, I, do, uh, I decided to do this uh, tutorial in English and uh, please excuse my uh, grammar because uh, English is uh, not my native uh, language. So bear with me, I'll uh, do my very best. Um, for those that do not know what the QSIM planner is, it's a um, open source fuel planning and takeoff and landing performance tool decided uh, intended for flight simulation use uh, it's currently in the state uh, of version 0 0.48 um, and i'm not sure when the um, uh, bug occurred the first time but uh, for sure it doesn't work now and um, don't see any plans for uh, a uh, update uh, anytime soon. So uh, let's uh, scroll down this page and you can see some screenshots. And uh, there's a WordPress blog um, where you can download this uh, actually quite good tool, I must add. Uh, you can use it for different uh, kind of airplanes. Uh, you can uh, import your own uh, and edit your own uh, uh, fleet. You can also uh, use it to predict such thing as uh, takeoff and landings, etc. etc. Uh, but also do flight planning as well. So a basically a good open source tool it's free it doesn't cost anything it's uh, it's very ver versatile uh, to say the least but when we open that program and uh, we'll uh, just go into the menu setting of the wind allosoft because when you go like let's say into takeoff or landing you always get the uh, option to download the latest meter uh, that helps you calculate uh, the stopping distance and takeoff distance, etc. etc. But uh, when you test the download function, uh, it says uh, the status says that it downloads the latest wind reference, but uh, due to this bug, it uh, basically doesn't allow you to uh, do that. So uh, the only option is to load a wind data. So uh, that basically, uh, and I'm really sorry for the Norwegian uh, um, uh, language in the menu system, but uh, I think that most would uh, recognize the setup anyway. Uh, when you open up the loading part, it uh, points to the grib two files that's a decimal grip two and um, most people don't know how to get that um, basically so i'm going to show you in this tutorial uh, you need to go into google and type x grip uh, which is the program we're intending to use just open that page and you'll find a download section uh, at the top. So I'm on uh, Windows. This works on Linux and Mac as well, but I'm on uh, Windows. So you download this file for the latest version, one decimal to decimal six, and that will work for you. So I already installed it, but uh, in case you ever wanted, so uh, you get this uh, file, Job, just double click it, take you to a wizard, uh, press next. Um, I'm already installed, so I'll just put a test folder just to show the next step. Um, so the basic the difficult part uh, of this program is to select uh, the 
to decide what to select basically so in uh, my case i just uh, tick those two and leave uh, the uh, height uh, resolution map to off don't need it and it just added the size on your disk so press next and uh, you accept the license etc etc i'm already installed so uh, i'll just open the program and it might be daunting at, uh, at the first time and uh, basically don't <laughs> don't know what to do and how to go about doing it and hence this tutorial so in uh, in my case i'll uh, i'll just um, take this um, pointer and i'll uh, just uh, mark a section of the map i'm uh, uh, i'm uh, wanting to uh, Download. You can press your middle mouse uh, mouse button to kind of press and pan around. So it's uh, it's not the most um, fluid map system <laughs> or map viewer uh, to say the least. But uh, you get there uh, when you just click. Uh, let's say for the United States, you just click your way through on on this side. So when you uh left click and uh, you just select the area you want you go to the weather map option and uh oh sorry from file section and you download the grib file you can also use the short code control d or option d on the mac i think and uh, that'll bring up this window and um yeah it basically tells you what the latitude and longitude for the selected area is. You can choose uh, a atmospheric model. Uh, and uh, to be frank, uh, most of this I basically don't know what it is, but it's different kind of sources. Uh, uh, same as the wave model. Uh, I don't care about the wave model because yeah, I'm flying, so. So you can either choose surface data, uh, then you get um, um, whatever you need here. So um, just leave it at uh, at the default. Uh, perhaps if you want uh, snowfalls and reflectivity and, and such, you might tick that as well. The more you tick, the larger the file, basically. Altitude data, do, uh, just leave this as is. Uh, you can select all, but then the uh, download function strangely disappear. Uh, not sure why though. Uh, same as uh, with the SKU T. So uh, generally, I just leave that as it is. Uh, don't mind it. And uh, wave, I don't care for anyway. So when you have selected everything, uh, you want. The wind, the wind gust, surface level, mean sea level pressure, temperature, isotherm. Um, that I don't know for sure what it is, but yeah, it's ticked at my end. I think it's the default uh, option. So uh, when you have all these selected, uh, the run cycle is the latest, and, and you can change the period of days as well, but um and the resolution i don't see any difference in the res uh, resolution so just leave it at zero uh, decimal two five for now and when you have done that you just press uh, download and uh, the program will start to download all the weather inside this selected area so we'll uh, just uh, wait for that to uh, do its magic thing. It should be quite pretty fast because it's just like 45 megabytes or something. Um, we just wait and then and it automatically gets a um, uh, file uh, location. So I just uh, made a uh, folder on my desktop. Um, it's called Grib Files, and this is the already the one I downloaded. So uh, you don't need to uh, you don't need to um, uh, name it uh, like a decimal Grib. 
two. I, I just did that for um, for uh, uh, a test I did. So let's uh, let's uh, uh, revert back to the default uh, naming, and we'll just uh, press save, and the map is prepared. So basically, when you have that uh, done, you it's time to go back to the uh, planner. So I just remove that then and here is the trick uh, there's a little bit of small thing you need to do because when you load the weather data you are almost instantly um, notified to select the file is that is that the right grammar uh, uh, anyway so uh, desktop and uh, let's go into grip files <clears throat> And you can see there's no files there. So basically it searches for grip files, but you can't see anything. So you need to change it to all files. And of course, uh, it's I think it's shipped uh, as well. So let's see. Um, let's see if uh, it's not shipped. So you might need to uh, rename it after all. So just uh, try and uh, do that. Uh, grib2. Let's rename that. And uh, go back to this. Uh, update. Uh, it doesn't seem to uh, want that. I'll just go out inside. Okay. So let's choose that one. Open. And it's reading from file status is okay so it might be a kind of bug uh, when it comes to reading and the labeling and, and such but it seems to work so it, when you now go into the let's say the takeoff po portion and uh, let's say we'll do uh, ejkk for gatwick and we'll just download the meter uh, and it should be correct uh, according to the weather at at uh, Gatwick so uh, we could do a short meter so let's say meter uh, EGKK let's see what it's bring up uh, current weather is uh, 160 at 6 so basically that uh, is the same as the download meter that proves it works so it's a kind of tedious uh, work to do but it's it doesn't take too long and uh, of course uh, it should be a lot easier just pressing the download button but until the the developer uh, gets around to actually fix the issue uh, this is an optional fix for qsim planner version 0 0.48 so enjoy and have a nice day